Hi, <laughs> hey, everybody. And welcome to today's edition of the Hillbilly Files. Today, we are tackling one of the most famous uh, legends in, in West Virginia history, Mamie Thurman herself. Now, we are at the actual site where her body was found. Uh, there's a little yellow gate right behind us. You can see it. And her body was literally, it was right over this It was hill. actually right here where this couch is around this area that a deaf mute was picking berries mm -hmm. and he saw what was a blue polka dot dress. Um, he came up to see what it was and Mammy Thurman's head was actually down that hill and uh, she was wet, it had been raining and he alerted the authorities. But Mammy Thurman's death has become one of the biggest legends, mysteries, and basis for ghost stories in West Virginia. Um, it's got a lot of layers. We won't be able to cover it all, but we're going to cover some locations and we're going to actually try to figure out, we think we may know. We, yeah, we, we have done some serious research into this, you know, how things go. Over time, other little pieces may come along. And there's been several uh, major, major articles about her uh, in the 80s and stuff like that. So we have all of that to go on. Plus we have, you know, actual testimony and all this sort of stuff. And we have some information that I think you guys might like, might find really interesting. One of the biggest mysteries of Mammy Thurman is where she's buried. Why doesn't yes. she have a marker? And where is her body? So we may actually come very close to figuring that out today. But anyways, we're going to go to the locations. There's never been a video like this before. We're going to go to the locations, the crime locations where her body was, um, you know, funeral home, et cetera, where she lived. And at the end, we're going to end up at the cemetery and where we think she may be. And you yes. can decide for yourself. Trace Mountain, 22 Mine Road, is coal mines. So lots of coal trucks. But I just wanted to show you. And look at the drop-offs here. Big valleys. Let's head on to Logan, our first stop. This right here is the entrance to 22 Mine Road. I can't stay here but just a few seconds, that's why. This is uh, a, one of the legends inspired right here. It says that if you park here, that Mamie Thurman will push your car backwards back up the hill and we'll we'll have that video in here we'll include that video with you. let me get out of here before we get ran over <laughs> So 1932, after Mammy Thurman was found, she was brought to what was then the Harris Funeral Home. It is now the Honaker Funeral Home, but this is the original building.
Look at that stone, 100 years. Now for the gruesome details, of course, that we'll have to get into, Mammy Thurman's neck was slit and she was shot two times in the left side of the, right above the ear. So this funeral home has seen many, many, many people come through it. It actually has quite an interesting, rich history. Of course, like I said, it was the Harris Funeral Home. Pretty building in like the columns. So this is where Mammy Thurman's body was until she was transferred to the Ninth Burt church where she actually um, was a member and did work there. She was really known as a, a good wife and a charitable person, but at night things changed a little bit. So back in the day, this town was booming. Logan was booming, just like some of the bigger cities, New York, LA, things like that. It was rich in timber, coal. It had a lot of money, a lot of partying. And Mammy Thurman was caught up in it. So her and her husband had moved from Bradfordsville, I think, Kentucky. And he got a job as a policeman and he had the graveyard shift, which was 6 p.m. to, to 6 a.m. Um, he had said later in court that he just assumed that while he was at work that Mammy was an, at home being a good girl. Um, I guess that we didn't have cell phones and text messaging then to check on one's spouse <laughs> or GPS location. might have came in handy because he'd have seen that Mammy Thurman was not at home reading the Bible. I just think this, these buildings are really neat. Build style. So this is where the original courthouse stood, where Mammy Thurman's trial took place. It was a real clown show. Uh, journalists from all over the place. There's this tons of people outside waiting to get any kind of information. Um, as we know, newspapers back then was, was big money. And the bigger the story, the more money and more papers. Of course, the courthouse has changed considerably. So I was looking for the Aracoma drugstore. It's still here. Um, before Nan Mammy Thurman disappeared, she was seen buying a pack of Lucky Strike cigarettes at that drugstore. And then she made a quick trip to a boarding house to drop off some sheets for some reason. And then she was never seen alive again. Pretty old churches. That's not it, is it?
beautiful old church, yeah. Yeah. I thought this was it at first. So Logan, back in the day, used to actually be a little pretty quaint town. It was kind of a... Well, not that anymore. <laughs> But right here, it's kind of loud, so we're going to make this quick. Where this drive through is, is where Mammy and her husband, Jack Thurman, stayed um, above a garage in an apartment that they rented from Harry Robinson, who was later one of the people indicted for her murder. Right here in the drive through is where her house was, and Harry and his wife's house were up front here around where the Logan Bank is. So we'll head back to our car. We have about 18 miles to go get it again now. <laughs> <laughs> While we're talking, we'll go ahead and point out a couple things. So Mammy Thurman liked a lot of attention. Um, her mother died when she was three and her father was a alcoholic that moved here as well. So in court it came out that Mammy Thurman had been having a two year affair with her landlord, Harry Robinson. And his Clarence Stevenson, who what he was exactly, was never truly established. He was a good friend of Harry's that was also a handyman, servant, etc. So he also claimed to have been having an affair with Mammy Thurman along with 12 to 16 other men, but she's not here to defend herself on any of that. So this is just what was said in court. This is a prehistoric shell of a payphone. Y'all remember those? You put money in them and dial a number and they look a pacifier. So we found her church Just walking along here. The McCoy station, huh? What is that? Devil axe? <laughs> it's like an axe bar, axe throwing bar. It's right there. Yeah, I recognize it. So after Mammy Thurman was ready for her funeral, she was moved over to the Nyberth Methodist Church that we're coming to right now, where her service took place before she was moved to her mystery location that her death certificate says she was buried that Friday, June 24th. Her funeral and services cost around $700, which was quite a bit back then. I'm sure Jack Thurman was less than pleased to learn that his wife had been having several affairs. Or maybe he knew about it. And maybe he was one of the ones involved in killing her? Question mark. So this is Robinson right here. I wonder if that has anything to do with Harry Robinson. It's a pretty church. It is. 
It's like old European style. So when Mammy Thurman passed away, she didn't have anywhere to be buried. And um, this is where a lot of confusion and fuel to the fire comes for conspiracy theorists. Why did her body disappear? Why doesn't she have a marker? Where did she go from this location? But after a lot of digging and research, we think we've come pretty close to where she is. But we'll get there soon enough, right? <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> so this is Cole Street. What's interesting, a side note, is Mammy Thurman's father, as I'd mentioned, was a chronic alcoholic. He actually got drunk one night and passed out in a stream where he got pneumonia. Well, he passed away as well. And he also doesn't have a grave marker and no one knows where he is buried. You know, you have to wonder too if her not having a marker is intentional because that would have been left up to her husband at the end of the day if he was angry or if he was involved in the murder, you know? A lot of speculation. Yeah, lots of speculation. But she definitely was pretty wild and she had built something that was just going to tumble in a matter of time and it did so in court it was said that she had had an affair with harry her landlord for two years and his wife found out about it and she begged harry to not see mammy anymore mamie however you want to say it and they kept seeing each other, so they were playing with fire. And you can't tell me that Mam Mamie's husband didn't know about this. There's no way. It's a small town. It's a small town, and um, they were going out a lot at night to this social club that a lot of the the big wigs and um, you know politically powerful people were going, and they were rubbing elbows with these people. So who knows how? deep this really goes you know who knows who all she was having an affair with and who actually killed her but long story short <clears throat> harry robinson did not drive so clarence stevenson did all of his driving who was the man who ended up being convicted for this crime and they did find unless it was set up they did find blood on the floorboards of the car and they found an, a knife and some bloody clothes in Clarence Stevens' um, basement where he lived in the same area that Mammy, Mamie and uh, Harry lived. So they were both indicted on murder. But in the end, Harry Robinson got off and Clarence Stevenson went to jail. He never stopped confessing that he was innocent. He died several years later from stomach cancer and he went to his grave saying he was innocent. Now when Mammy Thurman's body was found, she had her wedding ring on and some expensive jewelry so it was not robbery.
I just thought it was kind of interesting. When they found Mammy Thurman's body, she had a pack of Lucky Strike cigarettes on her. I didn't even know they sold these still. But when she got them, they're probably like 25 cents. <laughs> Four dollars and fifty-three cents. When you buy two. Wow. So this cemetery is at the end of Weeping Willow, Willow Drive in McConnell, West Virginia. It's about a ten-minute drive from Logan. There it is, right there. Yep. This is another abandoned cemetery, so, you know, we can't control the universe. <laughs> it just is what it is. I already see the spot we're looking for. I see it. So we're at the old Logan Memorial Park Cemetery in McConnell, West Virginia. If you do happen to come out to to see this old cemetery, well, it's not that old. It's actually built in the 1920s. Don't confuse it with the old city cemetery in Logan, which is where we did the uh, Murdered by Your Slaves video and, and Lawson. That is a different cemetery. This is another abandoned cemetery. And by away. abandoned, we mean no one takes responsibility for it. And it doesn't technically belong to anyone. It does not belong to the city. It doesn't belong to anyone. It just kind of exists and is, you know, Outside disintegrating. Of, yeah. So what leads us here is an article that we read, <laughs> which is really interesting, actually. I'll just say briefly, and then I'll, I'll turn this over to Leo. And so a lot of people have looked into this. There's been numerous YouTube videos made on this, podcasts, I think a few books. TV um, stations. They talked about making a movie. I'm not sure if they have or not or where that stands. There's also a play that they were going to do around here. I'm not sure if they went through with that either. But to me, it just doesn't seem that difficult because... The guy that buried Mammy did an interview. Did an interview about 50 years after. It's not like it was a secret, you know, article. He was in his 70s at the time. He was in his 70s, and he used to be help his dad dig graves here. His dad dad was a caretaker at the cemetery, and he said he remembers burying Mammy Thurman very clearly, and he said where she was buried. First of all, here's a map of the cemetery. You probably can't see it. He said she was buried in B section, but I'll read the article. While many others had reported they remembered Mrs. Thurman being buried at McConnell, 53 years is a long time to remember an exact location. However, Elsie Burgess, now 75 years old, when he was 19, he helped his father, Ed Burgess, dig Mrs. Thurman's grave. There's no question about it, he said. She's buried here. I even helped cover her up. Mr. Burgess said that he and his father averaged digging two graves a day at McConnell in 1930, in the 30s. Sometimes we dig, had to dig up to three, he said. Burgess said the only grave marker placed at Mammy Thurman's grave was a small metal marker put there by the Harris Funeral Home. He said there was never a headstone placed at the site. Burgess explained that the cemetery is divided into three sections, A, B, and C. He said Mrs. Thurman was buried in the B section, which is located below the road and in the vicinity of the huge steel monuments. To the best of my knowledge, she was buried about midways up in that section, he said. Logan Memorial Park, which at one point in history was probably the nicest cemetery in the area, is actually a story in itself. Many of Logan's most prominent families have been buried here. At that time, Mr. Burgess's father was caretaker of the property, and reportedly it was owned by the Charleston family. The property later was purchased by another man who supposedly sold many grave plots and earned thousands of dollars by guaranteeing perpetual care. Well, what happened was 
when people came to paid for plots and had their loved ones buried, they would start digging and actually hit other graves. He was selling plots that didn't really exist and just pocketing the money. So people started to come here and exhume their loved ones. But there's no record of Mammy Thurman being exhumed. And if there wasn't even enough money for her to have a headstone, who's going to pay for Who's going to pay to have her exhumed? Um, she didn't even actually, why there's no plot in her name was because she didn't have a plot. So from research, from what we, we think. think is that C.C. Chambers, who is the guy that actually was the lawyer for Clarence Stevenson, who went to jail for Mammy Thurman's murder, he had two grave plots here for him and his wife. So rumor had it, you know, papers we had come up with, articles, etc., that he actually felt bad for this girl and for the what had happened to her. She's a 31-year-old, beautiful, well-known socialite. Um, and she was murdered tragically, so it pulled at people's heartstrings. So he gave one of his grave plots up, which was here. And him and his wife is actually buried now in Peck's Mill. So she was buried under a different name. It was all kind of covered up. She didn't get a headstone because they couldn't afford it. And her husband probably didn't care at this point because she'd been cheating on him. But what was really confusing us was the steel monuments. Exactly. What and steel monuments? There are no steel monuments here. This place doesn't have any steel monuments. Now, we did a little bit of research on this, um, you know, from the articles, and I want to show you something. Check this out. Now, keep this in mind now. The steel monument, right? Watch this. I'm going to show you something magic. <laughs> You'll like this. Now, Heather, car's parked right there. She's right there. And we did this here for a reason. Check this out. Can you read that? What does that say? <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure we found her. Okay, now, if the article is correct, let me get around here. A lot of stuff, a lot of overgrown brush. You can hear it crunching and cracking under my legs, under my feet, but look here. In the vicinity of the steel monument, just below the road. Boom. Guess what? <laughs> if the articles are correct. Now this is after a whole lot of research. Heather has done a lot of research on this. She knows this story really, really well. She knew this story before we even moved here. She's been into this stuff for a lot longer than most people think. Uh, <laughs> but she has, she got into this story. And like I said, she'd already known a little bit about this. But she gets into this and she gets to digging on this stuff. And I guess you guys have seen in some of the other videos. That's about when her OCD kicks in. <laughs> she will not let it go. If our research is correct, she is buried in the center of your screen. Now, imagine that. How cool is that? <laughs> the lost grave of Mamie Thurman. There's a really good chance. I mean, the only way you'd 100% know for sure would be to, you know, GPR, ground penetrating radar, find all the graves, dig them up, and, you know, do tests on the bodies is the only way you're going to know for sure. If all the reports are right, though, guys, you're looking at Mamie Thurman's grave right now. As far as Heather and I are concerned, I mean, the legend will continue. The ghost stories, all that sort of stuff will continue. As far as the missing body is concerned, as far as her, you know, her body itself is concerned. As far as Heather and I are concerned, this mystery is solved. She is right there in the center of your screen, right beside the big steel monument.
imagine that. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed our video on Mam Mamie Thurman. Uh, if anyone wants to come here and, and check out this mausoleum, please do. And if you take a picture in front of it and send it to us, either through um, YouTube or you can look us up on Facebook, Trail 10 Tours. Picture there, we will put you in our next video. <laughs> anyone who does it, so. Make it interesting. Why not, right? But uh, I think it's really cool. You know, we if everything, if we're right then this mystery is solved. That's cool. As far as where she's buried, I mean, like usual, we can't exhume her and, and figure it out, but you know. We're pretty much, we're pretty convinced. As far as I'm concerned anyway, we- Yeah, I'm convinced. We found Mamie Thurman, she's, she's right there. She's right there. As far as I'm concerned, she is right there. And the we're ground, right next to her. If she was exhumed, there would have been a hole, there would have been some sort of evidence. Someone, someone would have had to pay for this, but if you're not gonna pay for a headstone, you're probably not gonna pay to have a body exhumed either. So you know, she's here. She's it was here. it was simple. Ten minutes away, funeral home. Put her in the ground here. Done over with. Someone probably took the metal marker home as a souvenir at some point. You know that was even famous back then. You know, to me, it's not a mystery. Uh, I don't know. Even the death certificate says where she's buried. It says here. She's here. Yeah. And she's right there. So, yeah. hope you all enjoyed you and. <laughs> the chance to come down here and check this place out. It is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful, old old, old uh, markers and mausoleums and stuff like that, way back in the middle of the woods. It's absolutely beautiful. It's breathtaking. It really yeah, is. Yeah, I wouldn't sweet. come in summer. Everything's grown yeah, over, but. Yeah, you want to do it in the winter when vegetation's down. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff to see here if you like this kind of stuff and you like um, adventure, you yeah. know. Yeah, let's definitely get out and have some fun. Stuff ain't easy. It ain't easy to find. It isn't easy to walk around, but it's not that hard either, right? Well, it's like you see a lot of. <laughs> and if you don't want to go yourself, well, there's there's always lots of YouTube channels out there that will show you videos, show you pictures of this stuff. We would rather take you there. We would rather, much rather, if we're going to do this stuff, we're going to take you there and show you the spots, show you the places, and then tell you the stories. Exactly. So obviously, the makings for all ghosts are, you know, the woman in white that wanders in the dress because she's not at rest. And they meet certain criteria, usually a violent death or something horrific that happened and Mamie Thurman certainly meets that and she has been haunting 22 Mine Road since shortly after her death and uh so there is a a hill there that supposedly if you put your car there Mamie will push it back up the hill and we we actually did try that we'd mentioned earlier so I'm going to insert that into this video um whether she's a ghost or not I mean I don't know I hope she's at rest Hope she's at peace, and I hope she's not tied to 22 Mine Road for eternity. <laughs> but, uh. So, we'll... legend, she will push you back up this hill. All right, it's in neutral. <laughs> and it's pushing back. Did it stop? We'll do it from the inside video now. Where are you going? Okay, we're right at the ready, go. Okay. Okay, we're right at the exit. Got it in neutral. Letting off the brake in three, two, one. Rolling backwards. We rolling. Up hill. Not no touching feet. nothing. <laughs> still going. We're still going. Uphill backwards. 